Hey guys, Mike here from Panther Hollow Sporting Optics. I hope this video finds you well. Today we're looking at an Athlon Aries UHD 15 to 60 by 56. This is their F class, F class style scope or 22 bench rest style scope. It focuses down to 10 yards. Uh, we're going to be shooting Fly Swatter Challenge, Timmy Blue Trigger. And we're going to be using my custom Rim X with McGowan Precision Barrel. There's the scope on top, looking good. Got a little level on there. Seen this in a video before already. I just painted the barrel black. So I'm going to pause it. I'm going to put this on the uh, target down there at 50 yards. All right, guys. This is a day at the range fly swatter challenge. Uh, we're going to see what we can do. We're using a SK rifle match. I'm using my custom rim X here with a McGowan precision barrel and a U1 stock. Let's see what happens here. Our cider shots. Flags are kind of coming to me there. Let's see what this does wind wise. Okay. Aiming at his head on the second one. Almost missed that one. Okay, and I'm just going to go for the middle of the body here. Ooh, that one went low. Okay, make sure it's still on here. I'm going to go for the middle body again on number two on the cider. Okay, let's see if I can get a little closer here. There we go. We'll start at one, work our way across. hit or not. That was almost a miss. Plenty of ammo here. Put a few more in. SK rifle match seems to be doing the job so far. I think I might have one miss, maybe we'll have to check it after we get done here.
All right, rattling out those headshots down there. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying for headshots every time. Sometimes it goes a little bit low. All right, see how many we got there. All right, guys, we're gonna run through this really quick. One through five, it all hits. Number one was questionable, but I did catch the edge of his body right there. Number six was a miss. Number seven, eight, nine, and 10 were all hits. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 were all hits. Scoop this over just a little bit there so you can see that. Then we'll go to 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 were all hits. Like I said, 11 through 15 were all hits if I missed that. So we're gonna step back here and talk about this rocker real quick. Stand by. All right, guys, what scope was I running? Well, if you didn't catch in the first video, I'm running the new Ares ETR. This is an F-Class style scope or a Dench Rest 22 style scope. It's a second focal plane. It's got a very fine reticle in it. It is a 15 to 60, 15 to 60 by 56. It comes with caps and a few other things in the box we're going to go over in the next video. Long story short, it's nice and clear. It works well. It repeats to zero. I'm gonna have a video on that. I'm gonna show the repeatability of this scope, okay? But not on a 22, it'll be on a center fire, okay? The gun itself is a Rimex with a McGowan Precision Barrel and a U1 stock. I've had this gun in my, a couple other videos. Um, it's been a lot of fun to shoot. It was chambered for me by Ares Custom Rifles LLC out of Jeff City, Missouri, okay? My goal in this, right here was to beat a few guys that I would probably never get to shoot with, okay? One of them being Kenny that used to chamber my rifles for me. I'm not using him, he's too far away. I uh, like to use somebody here close to me. Um, and he helped me put this rifle together and my goal was to beat Kenny. So I got you, Kenny. I shot 24, I think you shot 23, I believe. <laughs> I've done it with a different rifle. <laughs> It's not a stab at you, man. I'm just having fun. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you need any information about this scope, you can go to Athlon's website and look at it. I was super excited to get it out. We're going to be doing some comparison videos later on down the road. The scope is around $1,200. Okay? It's, it's pretty dang affordable for the F-Class crowd. Um, how does it compare to a Night Force? It's pretty dang close. It's not quite as bright on higher settings. That's to be expected for its price range. Now, the Night Force is a $2,000 plus dollar skill. Um, Night Force competition has been around forever. Would I rather have two of these as a Night Force? Yes, yes I would. This scope right here, I feel like I can be competitive all day long with it. Uh, we're gonna be checking to make sure it holds zero. I'm gonna run through its stuff because I don't wanna take it to a match and fall short because my 
Stokes doing something funky. So we're going to test that. As of right now, on this 22, it's done everything I've asked it to do. It's repeated to zero. It's done everything I've asked it to do. I'm going to catch that on video at a later date. Okay, guys? Hey, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.